Hi everybody, I'm sick. Really, really sick and tired of the racial talk and the ethnic. People are not supposed to be racial because we all came from one race. If you're biblical, it's Adam and Eve. Which means we're all product of incest. If you believe in the Big Bang Theory, we all evolved from something. So whether we want to kill each other over tribal politics or whatever else, it's a waste of time and what you're actually doing is making people happy that they have control over you and your tongue and your actions. It's too, there are too many issues out here. My greatest fear and concern is this COVID-19 pandemic. There is no cure for it. They are still working on a vaccine, which is a trial. And in my country alone, over 200 people have been treated. And that's the reported case. We haven't found out about the unreported cases. It was reported that three of our schools had to close. And that was only one class in an entire school. One class. So imagine in September when the entire school body opens. And there's hundred upon hundreds of students in the system on the roadways, buses, cars, and whatnot, which makes up the bulk of the traffics on the road and what have you. City gates always in a mess. People jam each other. It's difficult to social distance with limited infrastructure and limited washrooms, facilities, etc. Right? How are we going to teach the kids? And if it's online, how are we going to ensure that they are learning and they are doing the work and not their parents or siblings? How are we going to ensure that they are really learning and not copying? Because as teachers, we don't all have turn it in to know. And it's very concerning. And most, most troublesome for me is what are they going to do in the future with respect to the GDP and the billions of dollars that have been lost due to the closure of businesses and every other thing for the past few months. How are we going to bounce back from this? What is the plan? Because cuts in salaries will not do anything but sink us further down a precipice. Pardon my bad analogy. But it's going to be hard if things are not put in place for people, jobs. And what is painfully, painfully, painfully disturbing and the root cause of my sickness is the attitude, the attitudes and behaviors that you want to push forward for people to be proactive and not just positively reactive to what's happening. Where people think that the onus is on the government and they are straining health facilities and, and causing the budgets to go into the health sector, which is honestly a waste of money because if you eat healthy and take care of your surroundings, you can overcome this virus and avoid getting it to begin with. All right. What and how are we going to fund other aspects of society? Especially if you're an energy-based country and the energy sector has been decreased rapidly over recent years. Where are the incomes going to come from? How are we going to sustain ourselves? All right, because we talk about sustainable development and all of these things. 
what are we going to do as citizens of a small island state still at developing status and socially what is going to happen when the haves no longer have and the have nots have less than what they had before what is going to happen i do not want a violence riddled society i do not want pain anguish i do not want our dollar to depreciate our property values to depreciate i don't want any of these things happening and we'll see a salary cuts so people attitudes and behaviors which is what should be there positive innovative critical thinking all of the non-technical skills and all of the technical skills which our government has been paying us with free tertiary education for the last 15 years thereabout has to be put into place for us to survive as a nation as a community as families and as individuals it is only fair and just that we develop our attitudes literally overnight literally let the holy ghost dawn upon you and get an instant change because if you reject ethics and you reject the notion of pushing for good attitudes and behaviors which unesco the ilo and all of these agencies advocate for then something is wrong check yourselves People are drawn to positive or like spirits. If I'm a criminal, I join a gang and continue in my activities. Likewise, if I am a teacher, I join other institutions and groups where I'm allowed to teach. If I'm a sportsman or woman, I will join some sports club. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who we are and what we are determines where we will go and who will be around us. We do not want our society to falter, to fall back, to be damaged. Individuals, economic-wise, environmental-wise. Okay? Let us please put into practice what we have been trained to do for all of these years where monies were spent training developing our minds which should be reflected in our attitudes and behaviors how can i say i learned or i'm the holder of a degree but my mindset and my attitudes towards what is good and performing what is good isn't reflected Think about that, please. We have a future and a short future to start thinking and planning for. Racialism and all this nonsense only destroys and distracts. Stay focused on keeping your lives, family lives, community and everything functioning and well. Do not be distracted by this political nonsense. Okay? It's the best advice I could possibly give. Because I am getting sick just worrying and thinking about all of these rejections to what is good and all the ignorance to what the future holds if we don't get our acts together as citizens, individuals, right, family members, etc., etc. Keep our mind focused on our roles and responsibilities, all of them. How are we going to prepare for the future if something should happen? How are we going to prepare for the future if we get job losses and whatnot? Cuts in salary or what have you. Whatever it is. Be prepared. How are we going to prepare for it? Those who have to collect money from the government still. My heart goes out to you. Your employer and whoever else. My heart goes out to you. Okay? And I pray that all of these things are settled with the government being given of another five-year period that all of these things are settled all right so people can protect themselves and prepare and, and fix their homes and be 
fully prepared for what's coming next year. All right. So I wish you all the best and ask you kindly to stop this nonsense on race and politics and to please better your attitudes and behaviors, which is what many world organizations are asking for. You need just to be serious while things are lighter when you have a lighter mood and jolly and happy, but don't be carefree. Okay, stay focused, but have fun. Have a good day. All, All night, night if that is your case.